Also tonight, the $270 million Oshai Children's Hospital here in Buffalo is beginning to take shape now. It is officially, as of right now, halfway done. To mark the milestone, 7 Eyewitness News went inside the new building on Ellicott Street. It's going to replace the current Women and Children's Hospital over on Bryant. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller just got a sneak peek inside the hospital today. She's live on the medical campus tonight. Hannah? Well, Keith and Ashley, today I grabbed my hard hat, I put on my orange safety vest, and my photographer Tony and I traveled up the 12 floors of the new Oshai Children's Hospital just over my left shoulder. Officials with the hospital say they're about 50% complete, and we did see a lot of progress inside today. We toured several floors, including what will be the neonatal intensive care unit and the pediatric intensive care unit. The state-of-the-art $270 million Children's Hospital will have many new features including resources and rooms for patients bigger parents rather bigger patient rooms and better efficiency for staff in this location we are going to have rooms that are right size not only for the patients and the equipment that they need but for the providers to be in there with them and for families to be in there with them so each individual room because they're all private rooms in the hospital will have a, a space specifically for a family to rest to have respite to be there when the physician comes in so they can ensure that they don't miss a moment where they needed to be there. The hospital will be 12 floors and have 183 beds in total. Officials say this project is on schedule for completion in November of 2017. They say they have a systematic way of moving all of the patients from the Women and Children's Hospital on Bryant Street here to this new location on the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. We're live on the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus tonight. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, good. Thanks, Hannah.